Hey guys, this is Josh, Grout FPV. Today I'm going to show you how to do trippy spins. I've seen quite a bit of tutorials on how to do these trippy spins, and they did actually help me learn to do them. But I've seen a, a lot of people struggle with this trick, and there are a few things in these tutorials that are left out, and I, I think I can add on a few more things that just maybe will help you understand how to do the trick a little bit better. I think that the first step is understanding how trippy spins work, getting the feel for them, uh, putting yourself in that understanding of the camera looking back. It's really not much different than an orbit. You want to have minimum stick inputs once you lock into the maneuver. The number one thing that I actually see left out of a lot of these tutorials is how much throttle it really takes to maintain that locked in position. On average, at a 25 degree angle, it takes about three quarters throttle to hold it in its in its fixed altitude and the higher your angle the easier it's going to be to hold that altitude with less throttle the lower your angle you're going to take much more throttle if you're at like 10 degrees it might take full throttle to hold a locked in trippy spin so the place to start is hop into a simulator find an object that you don't have to go around and just get familiar with the feeling of spinning around looking backwards and do that for a while until you kind of understand it. There's two common ways to get into a trippy spin. There's the fallback method, which you overshoot the object, look back, and kind of fall into the trippy spin. And once you're locked in, you just maintain stick position and give minor adjustments. The other method, you kind of roll into it rather than fall into it, and you swing out using the momentum to carry you around to hold into the trippy spin both ways of doing it I, I think either they're they're about the same in difficulty in some ways it might be easier to understand the rolling in method either way though works the point is to get into the maneuver and i think the entry point is is really kind of what you have to look at how are you going to enter into the trippy spin i think a good way of looking at it is looking at an orbit so if you notice here you're in an orbit and you get into your locked position where you're you're very minimal input then you were to flip it over into a trippy spin and then it is just the same level of input but you instead of uh, same stick direction you're opposing the sticks really all a trippy spin is an orbit while looking backwards it's the same style of input if you can orbit you can trippy spin it's just getting comfortable with looking back at the object and that that's i think the hard part that a lot of people um, struggle with Learning to, to manage your throttle is the big thing here. So if you notice, I'm able to go up and down through these obstacles, and it's all really maintaining the throttle. Um, and here, this is a wider object, and um, you can notice that it's taking a lot more throttle to maintain that pitch back towards it. I think that the thing that people struggle with is trusting the movement of the quad. They, they don't quite understand you're just looking backwards. It's not really inverted or anything. It's just a perspective trick. So I would really recommend practicing orbits, really getting dialed in until you can lock an orbit without having to move sticks at all. Just adjusting your throttle for how fast you want to go around it or your altitude. Learning how to adjust and control those things will absolutely carry over to the trippy spin. It's a cool trick, and I see a lot of people struggle with it, and it took me a while to really understand how the trick worked. I practiced in a sim for a good while. I went out and just did it, and it translated over perfectly. It all comes down to just understanding how the trick works. Anyway, if you found this tutorial helpful and maybe you learned something, then consider leaving a like and subscribing. I hope this helped you learn trippy spins. Let me know if it does. Leave a comment if this helped or if you have any other questions.